like a new xylophone. I know what a xylophone is, but I'm just like, I know I was explaining the musical instrument you were just mimicking and miming. I will knock this over so quickly. I will knock this over so quickly. <laughs> ah! The shoot's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today we are talking about chastity. Wow! Now, chastity, when you talk about it, is one of those topics that you either are really, really into or you're really, really confused by and don't understand why it's a thing that people could be into. So I am confusion. And that's why we're here. And it's a topic today that we're gonna dive into because there's so many questions on the internet when it comes to chastity. And so on the internet, we asked you guys for your chastity Q&A questions. And then we checked in with our friends at Kink 3D Designs who gave us these lovely cages. And are sponsoring today's episode and helping us answer all questions chastity related. So without further ado, Daddy. Take it away. And as far as we're gonna start, people always ask what chastity is. Daddy, how would you explain chastity? Uh, chastity is a device that goes on your genitals that keeps you from being able to play with them. Simplified, yes, but further, it's a method used by some individuals to stop compulsive sexual behaviors completely by locking away one's genitals. At worst, chastity is a reference to a very terrifyingly medieval device that looks just like a belt with teeth. And at best, it's a wonderful resin or even plastic material that just goes around your junk that feels nice and soft and is somewhat malleable. And it doesn't always have to be with a device specifically, but of course, we're gonna talk today about comfort, how to size, and get those devices on because y'all had a bunch of questions. The first question from Supremely Queer who asks, how do you explain this kink to someone while open to the idea doesn't seem to get why you want to be locked up. Hmm. I think you have to approach it with an open mind, but also with resources and making it fun. We say this all the time, chastity play is confusing for people because they don't understand why you want to lock up something you want to have fun with. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. But you also have to approach it with a, yay, it's something you get to do with me, not, Oh, I have this thing that I'm kind of into and I'm really embarrassed about. Like, there's a whole totally difference in how you approach that topic there. And chastity play can be with yourself, but also is really fun to involve your partner with because they get to act in that denial. They have the control of your denial. And that's a great power exchange that can be fun. And not being able to get off gets you extremely horny and it makes you extremely focused on the person who's holding your key. You are a QVC operator trying to sell me something. If I'm gonna get into chastity, how are you selling it to me? Uh, limited supply, $9.99, act now. $999 days? That's a really long, that's a long <laughs> oh time God. to do chastity, oh my God. <laughs> It's important to explain how it feels to you, and it's gonna be different for everyone, which we'll get into today, which leads us to the next question, which comes from Alberta Girl who asks, what was your first time in chastity and what could have been done better? Now, for me, I remember my first time in chastity was actually with you. Mm. And it was because up to playing with you, I kind of felt weird or awkward or almost like, uh, chastity makes me like lesser as a sub. Again, this is a long time ago. I've come a long way since then. But it was something, you actually dangled concert tickets to, do you remember what concert? Uh, was it Pentatonix? <laughs> <laughs> Pentatonix over my head. I remember. <laughs> and you locked me up for a week. Things I would have done different. I would not have gone from zero to 60 because a week long is that's, a long time a for long your first time. try. Yeah. That said, I did just fine, thank you very much. <laughs> you didn't cheat? I did not cheat, no. Okay. But I would have known how to take care of my body a little bit better now looking back. Um, and moisturizing is super important. Moisturize me. Moisturize me, moisturize me. But to that, why are people into it? For me, it was about power dynamics and being controlled. Power, I want it. Some people it's about denial and not being able to touch themselves. But for others, it's about power. What is power? And giving that power to someone else or empowering themselves and their sex and how they identify. It's not about absence though. I do want to make that very clear. It's about fun. Good pain, like the ooh, good pain, mm -hmm. is different than the ow, ow, ow pain. Right, know the difference. Yeah. <laughs> I know people that have actually been in chastity that was so uncomfortable, whatever the position they were sitting in, that they wanted to throw up. Yeah, because no, that's you're not doing sorts. it right, no. If your balls turn blue, it's too tight. Blue balls are different things than blue balls. 
And King 3D even did a survey where they got people's firsthand experiences with why they did chassis and how. And what I really loved is they broke it down. There was tons of people that expressed how it helped with their gender identity mm. from people being trans to people who just help them identify and really talk about or express their gender fluidity. And then there was also some people that were just into it for fitness, which I, I get that. So everyone comes to it differently. And finding those chastity dynamics is sometimes a little bit difficult, but that's where being able to be honest, not only with yourself, but other people about what you want is also incredibly helpful. It's not that you're a lesser sub by being locked up. In fact, in some cases, even more powerful that way. Actually, you become a better sub when you're locked up. It's super powerful. It's like, it's like a video game. You put that on and bloop, bloop, bloop. Super sub. What the f is going on in here on this day? Next up, Ursus asks, what tips do you guys have for guys who don't have a key holder yet? Daddy, what is a key holder? A key holder is the person who holds your key and is in charge of when you can take it off and how long you keep it on for. Yeah, and I think one thing that I wanna ask this question is, why do you have to have a key holder? You don't. Exactly. <laughs> now, like many dynamics in kink, there's like a dom or a top side and a sub and a locked side, let's say for instance. But with chastity, it doesn't have to be about a, a specific dynamic with you and another person. Chastity can be as much about just you, but how you identify and, and kind of identify with your genitals. But the question being, tips for finding key holders. How do you find them? Look online. There's lots of websites online where you can meet other people that are into chastity groups, even King3D who has a, a subreddit where lots of people not only share resources, but they go back and forth. And there's, I mean, you, you have Twitter, right? I mean. <laughs> and as far as key holders, it's also important to realize that that person is going to be taking on, or if you are a key holder, a lot of responsibility. So explaining your wants and needs or even how your chastity fits into your sexual dynamics and maybe even your own identity. I actually have this really nice graphic here that you can kind of plot where you exist on that spectrum. Because within that, some people are all about the masturbation, some are all about the position, some are about the sex and not. And it also helps you with your sexual focus versus your genital focus. And that's, that's what chastity is, you're locking up your genitals. So mm -hmm. being able to explain that's important because for some people it's all about the sexual dynamic and for others it's about locking up maybe because they're asexual and don't wanna have sex or maybe they're trans and that's a part of how they identify with their sex and take that power back. Being able to explain that to a key holder helps your dynamic and hopefully helps you find someone that you're really into that also understands why you like it. And also an important fact for key holders, especially if they're long distance, be mindful that your sub, once they put that on, that's all they are going to think about. So don't forget about them. Check in, talk to them. No, no. They become a little needy. Excuse me, I'm gonna need you a second. <laughs> Would you ever say you've been pissed while in chastity because of a partner? Yes, only if they forget about me. <laughs> or maybe if you forget how to pee, which leads to the next question <laughs> from Zach who asked, I've been curious about chastity. How does one pee? I'm sure it gets pretty simple. Lol. Easy. Yeah. Just go to any bathroom with the urinals and just spray it wherever. No, you no, want. no. Okay. <laughs> when you're peeing, make sure that you are actually in the toilet. Step one, <laughs> pull your pants down. Step two, sit on toilet. Step three, pee. That's the, that's the easiest way. Or the bathroom sink works no, too. No, no. Uh, <laughs> you what? I have many a times tried to pee standing up in chastity, and because the stream will hit the bar of the cage, some way it'll go <laughs> like a water. <laughs> it's literally waterworks everywhere. And that's why having the right size chastity is super duper important. If it's snug, it's like a hug. That's what my mom always said. Oh, yeah. your mom said that about chastity? Well, you know, me and my mom are very open about it. Wow. <laughs> I will say there have been times when I've been at a bar and there are urinals or shared shared pee spaces, you know? And because my chastity is so well-sized and I know how it fits on me, I can stand up and pee, which is very hard to do, to the point where there have been guys, that, you know, people cruise in the bathrooms at gay bars that'll be like, eh. Especially if there's that mirror above the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> where they, they see me peeing and they kind of stop and go, what's happening down there? And I'll just be like, excuse me, I'm peeing. God. Rude. <laughs> But that actually leads to this next portion, and this is probably the biggest chunk of the entire freaking video, sizing related questions. Which leads us to our first question from this section from Victor who says, how do you measure yourself for one? Or is it best to just get it fitted? If you can do it in person, do it in person and try it on. 
I recommend, first of all, that you're going to make sure you're referencing whatever site that you're buying Chastity from, regardless what kind of device it is. Look at their sizing charts. For instance, Kink 3D has an actual sizing chart for measuring while soft, okay? Yeah, not hard. Soft. We are not going for how big you get. And what's really hard, ironically, is that when people start like measuring, they get excited because of course they do. I'm so excited! Woo! I just can't hide it. But measure soft, measure once or twice, and then make sure you're following the directions on the website. Yeah. Just an eighth of an inch can be too tight or too loose that you can pull out. So you've got to get it within millimeters. Because if the sizing's not right, you can pull out of the ring maybe. And most cages come with like a head and a ring size. What's nice about King 3D is you can mix and match the different sizes and put those together and then you put the lock in. Bing bong. But once the lock's in, it's smooth, it's sleek, it's cute, and if you like pink, They've got it in pink. But that's a, also another good way to figure out <laughs> ring sizes is just go to your local store and get a <laughs> ring that's the same size and try that on first and then order your ring. You wanna be able to put at least one finger in there while it's on your body and that's usually a good ring size. And then trying the head size from there is super important. We work at these live events and so doing it in person paramount. And at these events, usually they'll let you try one or two on and mix and match. Which is why today's sponsor, King 3 d is perfectly locked down for this episode. Now, King 3 d is a wonderful, high-tech and revolutionary way in which you can lock up your junk. And it's incredibly lightweight and made from nylon plastic. Which means it's gonna be comfortable, it's gonna be smooth, and you're not gonna get any seams. And, best of all, it is printed in the US. So each of these are 3D printed and actually put together. But the best part, as you can see here, is you can literally mix and match the different sizes and shapes because King 3D makes it easy to find a ring that fits you and then you can size the head that fits you. So while daddy's not really good at color coordinating there. Well, you can mix and match colors too, <laughs> isn't that great? Because they just came out with pink. So get that now if you're looking to get some himbo energy in your workout. Oh, no, I'm confused. Which one oh, no. to Well, okay, luckily they also have little sizes on the inside of it, uh, so you know exactly what you want. We are not only longtime users of the King 3D devices. I've been locked for four weeks. But we are testers of, of some other devices, too, because they come out with new revolutionary, not like sizing, but types of cages all the time, with, as you can see here, eight different size heads, so the part that goes on to the ring, and eight different size rings, but further, they also have narrower and wider heads, as well as different size rings, some that curve, some that are a bit thicker, or the XD, and just the standard. With 15 plus cage options across the board. And 20 ring options. You can get this in black or the brand new Fusion Pink from Kink 3D, again, linked down below or on the screen here. Once you find the right ring of those sizes and the right head, you're gonna stick those pegs into those holes. You're gonna have a nice, keyhole here that you're gonna put your non-rust and lock into. Slide, lock, and you're good to go. So check out King 3D, use offer code WATTS23, and you too can only get a lock with one of your sets, but your very own special keychain. Ooh, which comes in pink and black. Uh. So go to King 3D and use offer code WATTS23 to get your own covert or Cobra keychain to keep track of your cape. That's those are my keys. They make great earrings too. <laughs> so thank you again, King 3D, for sponsoring today's episode, giving us these cages to uh, try on for size, and making sure you guys get educated on all things chastity. Can I put on my septum? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question though, coming from Blue Beagle Pup says, what are the best cage options for those with PAs? Oh, with PAs. Well, anything with a hole in the front. <laughs> yeah. Something so the PA can stick out and make sure your PA is not too big that it doesn't fit through the hole to stick out. Now, King 3D specifically says that anything from a two, four, six, maybe even eight could work, but again, depends on the sizing, so make sure you not only look at the measurements, but try these on for size. And some chastity devices, especially metal, have a PA ring that comes through and locks to the head of the cage so the dick cannot retract. Why are they called a PA? Like, what Albert was like? Prince the, Albert. No, I know, but was he the first one that got a PA? So you, you sounded so sure yourself I know. too. And I'm like, I was yeah, gonna no. make something up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh-huh. <laughs>
Alexa, <laughs> why is Prince Albert known for piercing? The name Prince Albert for this piercing comes from the belief that Queen Victoria's husband, Prince Albert, had this penile piercing. So he was the first one who had Ooh, a penile piercing. <laughs> Or how about this next question? Asking about being cut versus uncut. Now, if you are uncut, chastity devices can sometimes be a little uncomfy worn the normal way. That's why we recommend you get a bit of a wider cage or even leave more room in the front. Normally you want a cage that fits snug all around, but especially those that have skin there need to be careful about cleaning and also the pressure not to do anything that's going to cause swollenness down there. Because that extra skin can sometimes flap out from the cage and if it rubs against fabric, it's gonna be highly uncomfortable. What's, what sound would that skin make as it flapped out? Which actually, underwear choice for chastity is very important. You want something that feels nice on your skin, even if your skin starts rubbing against that in your chastity device. And actually sometimes a jock strap or an athletic supporter gives you a good support, uh, especially if you're wearing tight pants. It lifts and tucks. Yes. And as far as sizing these last two questions, all around ball size and how to find what's right for you, the ring size is really important for those balls. If you feel that burning sensation underneath, your balls are kind of near the taint. <laughs> That means that it's pulling or it's a little, it's a little chafy there. You might need a ring that's not only curved, but it's just a bit, a bit wider. Again, an eighth of an inch, as Daddy said, makes a huge difference in chastity ring sizes. And remember, if you feel any pain or it hurts, take it off. Mm-hmm. Take it off. I would rather die. There is no reason to power through the pain. Pain is your body's way of saying something's not right or doesn't feel comfortable. So maybe you need to get a different size ring. Maybe you need to start moisturizing a little bit more. Moisturize me. For me, I like using a little bit of lube of your choice and even a little bit of coconut oil under there. It helps with the inflammation if you have some of that and it just feels nice and do your damnedest to get the right size that fits for you. Be honest with yourself, okay? This isn't a matter of like, oh, my cage is too small. That means I'm insignificant. I mean, in some cases. <laughs> I mean, some, that, some that's cases that's what they want. <laughs> but no, I, I fell victim to this as well. I had a medium sized cage that I wore for about a year, uh, not all consecutively. Oh, okay. um, and then I had a dom wanting to size me down a cage. And actually sizing me down was way more comfortable because I wasn't wanting to grow and it was more compact in my pants. Some people even say that they, especially with the King 3Ds, they don't feel that the chassis is even there when it's the right size. Sometimes I forget. When it's snug, it feels like a hug. Like I don't even feel like I'm wearing it right now. What? Wait, but the board's full. And maybe you're not AMAB and you're not looking to lock up your genitals. The next question asks, are cages the only form of chastity? There's lots of different kinds of chastities from belts to cages. I've even seen versions that are just socks with little strings on it for like beginner chastity when you don't want to get super serious. But there's all sorts of different makes as well. What kind of materials have you seen in chastity? I've seen metal. Um, I've seen rubber. I've seen silicone. I have seen even wood. Wait, like a... Like it's a wood, it was a wooden thing that had a strap on it that you couldn't get into. It's like an Abraham Lincoln teeth like chassis yeah. device? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, hmm. I've even seen people use really tight underwear and like sports cups to simulate a form of chastity. You could always go the Game of Thrones route, I suppose, as well, but that is a little serious. What's the Game of Thrones route? Yeah, uh, you remember the eunuch? No. You know, the eunuch in Game of Thrones was really into chastity because he was always doing it. He was never dun 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 dun. <laughs> No idea what you're talking about. He was about. never done. He, he was a eunuch, so he always had nothing to... Do you not remember the Game of no, Thrones? No, I never watched it. I you watch Game watch of Thrones it. every week with the game. It was so boring. <laughs> Next question, and while we talk about the positivity of it all and the fun, we love chastity. We've done it for years. That's what makes us experts. But that also means we've got a few mishaps. Uh oh. And this next question from Big Daddy Not asks exactly that. And they say, what are some common mistakes people make when starting out chastity? Going from zero to 100, I think is one of the biggest ones. Yeah, I think people think they can do it for a month right off. Try it for a day. Because the first couple nights is the hardest. Literally. Literally. Because your body wants to have nocturnal emissions if you're someone with a penis. And that's usually what happens most nights anyway when the whole system is working as it should. 4 a.m. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
From our experiences, um, Daddy, have you ever gone to an event and locked up boys and given their keys to someone else? <laughs> <and> maybe <laughs> okay. gave your key away okay. or... Okay. Losing keys is a problem, <laughs> yes. And mixing up keys is also a problem. So be careful if you're the key holder for multiple people, don't mix them up. Broken keys are also something that can happen as well, mm. which is why you should make sure that you keep track of your locks that are good. Most keys are all the same now, especially the ones from King 3D, but you can also put a little bit of like baby oil or something in a lock that you might think's rusted to help get it undone. And don't order it from wish.com. No, please don't. <laughs> Always have a backup key. I don't care if you're saying you're gonna mail one off to a sir. I don't care if you're gonna like throw one away to try to force chastity yourself, which is actual stuff that has happened before. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you're doing. Keep a backup key. Put it in like an ice tray or something if you think you need a some sealed sort of, envelope. Yeah. King 3D actually makes key holders with a lock on number lock on them, so mm -hmm. you can tell if it's been open. But have an emergency key in case of an emergency. I have a question. Yeah. Have you ever cheated on chastity? Never! Next question. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> but that's a real thing. Sometimes you do have to unlock. I think that's a big mistake is thinking that you can't unlock for some reason. If you are not regularly cleaning, regularly adding some moisture down there, some lube, or giving yourself a break every once in a while, you're not only maybe causing frustration for you like mentally, but physically. So make sure you unlock yourself when you're kind with the pacing and the timing at which you try chastity out. And if you have a dom that's in control of it, if the dom asks you to send them both keys, no. say no. 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 People's biggest mistakes is that their eyes are too big for their dicks. Yeah. People always get <laughs> cages that are too big. That was my mistake the first time around. Oh, so and, many people. And then I kept trying to get hard and it hurt. When it was smaller in the size, that's right. I stopped doing that and it was more comfortable. You want it to be snug because then it feels like... uh -huh. Yay! You do listen sometimes. No. This next one from By Brian said, Where did my keys go? Oh no! It's a real question. <laughs> you mean these, Brian? Or maybe these ones? <laughs> uh, we don't know because I've confused them all. Oh, no. <laughs> we just put them in a bowl and mixed them around. No! Oh, that, <laughs> I've heard of parties like that, actually. They were called key parties, but it wasn't about chastity. <laughs> Let's have a kiki. <laughs> this kiki is marvelous. Did you check the freezer? Or maybe the mail, or maybe the garbage you threw that key in. It could be anywhere, honestly. That's why it's always important to have a keychain and a backup. And when you're locked up and you need a hand, Hand Humper asks, what are your tips for getting past the phase of intense horniness and moving forward? Who says you get past it? So that 4 a.m. thing, uh, you just have to think about something else. Uh, for me, I will get out of bed and walk to the fridge to see what's in the fridge and my mind turns to food and then I forget all about it. Well, I think a really good way to do it besides forcing yourself to forget things is setting goals for yourself. Mm. Again, you're not going from zero to 100 right away. As much as 100 days in chastity is impressive, give yourself a day, unlock for a bit. Then give yourself two days and unlock for a bit. You have to be kind to yourself and your body. If you're someone that's doing chastity and many people come to it for different reasons, but some people come to it for fitness, mm. they'll lock themselves up and have a key holder help them with workouts. Or maybe you're locking yourself up and then after you're done working out, that is your reward to unlock and have some fun. You are so buff, daddy. Bam, uh, bam, oh, bam, oh, bam, oh, bam. Oh, oh, oh. But set a task for yourself. You don't get to unlock until you're done with the gym. You don't get to unlock until you're done with those final exams. You don't get to unlock it. Oh, there's food in the fridge. Ooh. Wait, what was I thinking about? Personal question time from Hoyt is a puppy who asks, what is the longest time you ever been in chastity? One month. Nice. Last October. I was three weeks as well, my longest, but I gave myself time in between where I would unlock, clean, let my skin breathe mm -hmm. for a few hours, and then go right back into it. Not because I was like not able to do it, but just because I knew my body mm -hmm. and I needed some release every once in a while. And let, let's say you need to unlock your sub to make sure, you know, cleanliness, which is- Make it make thing. it fun, yeah. restrain them and unlock them and clean. Uh, clean very aggressively. Yeah, very aggressively. Don't let any but of the- Don't let anything come out. Get out. Yeah and then just lock them back up and then they yeah. get to go back in there for a few more weeks. And then they're gonna think about you forever. Daddy, you had your key up there previously, right? Which key? Exactly. <laughs>
I know so many people are like, I want to go for years and years. Yeah. Set goals for yourself as far as length that are realistic. It's a great fantasy to be like, I'm locking up forever. Forever is a long time. And ever and ever <laughs> and ever and ever. Apparently cleanliness is above kinkiness because cleanliness is very important today. Ink Mouse asks, do I need to shave completely? Oh, that's a good question. A good trim should be sufficient, but a lot of people do like to shave and be smooth. The problem is as you grow back, those ingrown hairs are gonna rub against your cage as well. Yeah, so regardless of what kind of hair you want down there and no, no hair shaming, it does help a little bit, especially from getting it caught into seams or locks. Next question from Service Pig who asks, when should I, you go to a smaller size? When I tell you to. Oh, yeah. When's that? Now. Oh. Do it, pig. Oh, okay. Let's put the service pig. Let's put the thing. <laughs> after some long-term wear or after you've gotten to know your body a bit better, sizing down or maybe even up for some of us is appropriate. It's because you're learning how your body feels. You're learning how the chastity sits. And maybe you've learned the tips and the tricks of how your body feels comfortable in it. But. It should be after wearing it for a bit. Don't get ahead of yourself, don't get too antsy, and certainly don't cause excruciating pain, unless that's what you're into. Have enough experience that you know what your body feels like. Why wait? Do it now, call now, QVC. Questionable Victorian chastity. QVC, that's, that's what that stands for. And this kind of feels like an appropriate way to end it with this question from Farm Baby. In the form, but you Thank did it. You. <laughs> Who asks, I see a lot of people talking about permanent chastity and I wonder how much of it is actually real. I can't imagine that the cage is never removed again. Is it just fantasy content where real life is edited out? Sure. Usually, yeah. I'm not saying that people can't do 24 seven, but I do wanna be realistic in saying that some people online are selling you a fantasy because that's what it's about for them. That's what they're doing. They're having fun and or they're a content creator that revolves around chastity. No matter the length of time you are going for and we support you, you got this, go, go, go. Be realistic. I know people that have done this for years, but even then they're going off and on and they take breaks here or there where they need to. And notice we keep saying you because it's you that this is going to be on. So you have to be your best advocate. No matter what some dom or key holder is telling you, have realistic expectations. So call now. You better call now. <laughs> King 3D, check him out. Today's you sponsor. take care of yourself. Use code WATS23 and you too can get your free keychain. <laughs> yes, hello caller. Your makeup is terrible. How dare you? That was so rude. <gasps> That's not great. Uh no matter the length of chastity though, always have a safe word. And today's safe word daddy is? Are you my key holder? Is this like a, a rewrite of are you my daddy? No, 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 <laughs> no key master, key holder, Ghostbusters. Are you the key master? Do you not remember this? And let's hope your ectoplasm isn't coming out of your, well actually, uh, increased, you know, It might leakage. increase your yeah. ectoplasm, actually. If your leakage is green though, please get chastity. Yeah, you're doing it wrong again. <laughs> and if you have more questions about chastity, leave them down in the comments below. We will be checking those out. Leave a like down below and ring that bell. And hey, check out our merch shelf, which is now below the description box. You can get your own himbo t-shirts and a number of other kinky fun designs. And we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye. You're just gonna keep smiling. Mm -hmm. Face chastity. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to juggle chastity. Ah! Try juggling subs sometime. <laughs> Try juggling daddies. Juggling. Juggling. <laughs>